Hi Gemini, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your love and general reading for October 1st through the 15th. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay. So when I was shuffling, the strength card wanted to come out. So some of you guys could have Leo in your chart or you were dealing with the Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Or this is just you stepping into your power. Having a lot of courage and strength to hold back on situations that I feel like are testing you. That, um, yeah, let's see. I hope you guys can hear me. Sorry, I can't. <clears throat> Geminis that are going to be watching this, please. Geminis that are going to be watching this, please. Okay. So we have the Queen of Swords here, but it's in the reverse. So this could be another air sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or this is, um, this could be you also, Gemini. You're, you're showing up in the reverse. So, let's see what else wants to come out. We have the Five of Swords in the reverse. So, um, something went down, okay? Something happened here, Gemini, where, um... You are in a situation that involves other people. Sorry, let me fix the lighting on this. Yeah, you're in a situation, a, a fart, a fart. Did I really just say that? You're in complications with other people here, okay? And I feel like this situation is definitely testing your strength. I do see that you want to avoid complications at all costs. You want to avoid arguments. You want to avoid fights. You want to avoid pettiness. You want to avoid all of that. And this situation here, I feel like you are holding back. I feel like you are holding back your words. I feel like you do want to use your sword. But... I also feel like people want you to react that way. They want you to uh, put up a fight. They want you to be petty. You're not giving them any of that. But with you showing up in the reverse, this situation definitely has you in your head. Um, you're having a hard time getting this situation, this person out of your head. Um, and you just may not know what to do as well. You may have been the one that started the fight. And you're just, you just don't know what to do. Even if you're a male, okay, Queen of Swords, male, um, you're just having a hard time finding clarity in this situation and finding a way out. So watch your thoughts. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. So someone may have been exposed. Yeah, we have the Three of Cups in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. Um, and here's the Strength card, but it wants to come out in the reverse, okay? So something with to do with the group of friends, something to do with um, family members, co-workers, but I'm getting this is more friends, people that you go out and party with, people that you go out and drink with. Um, someone here is being exposed. It could be you, Gemini, or it could be someone else. But I think you're having a really hard time just being strong in this situation.
We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I feel like it's every sign. The Five of Cups in the reverse. So we have two fives here. And they're um, with each other as well. So this situation here is definitely changing you, okay? This situation here um, is definitely bringing changes to your life. Um, you could just be dismissing yourself. We have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, so um, you're not wanting to give to the situation anymore. You're not wanting to beg for anyone's um, approval. You're not trying to force anybody to apologize to you or you to them or anything like that. Um, you're just wanting to avoid any type of conflict and I do see that you are going to get over any type of regret. You are going to get over any type of feeling of loss, like you lost this war or you lost this battle towards the mid-month. Yeah, you lost friends, Gemini. Gemini, you lost friends. Because what I'm seeing here is the the three cups that were here they're spilled they're spilled right here but we have this card in the reverse both of them in the reverse so um you may just be hanging with new friends now or old friends that you had and you just could be occupying yourself with work or other activities that um occupy your mind and not let you think of this situation. With the Four of Pentacles here also, um, you're just trying to let it go. You're trying to let the situation go. And I feel like this is something that has past already but it's like you're still stuck because with the queen of swords upright this is someone who um does not let things hold them back can uh, cut through situations and move on very easily but you're trying to do that but you're still having a hard time so this is something ongoing Seven of Pentacles, yeah. Something here that you failed at, okay? So you may have started something, Gemini, for some of you, and it just did not turn out the way that you wanted it to. I'm also seeing a third party situation here in regards to a relationship that happened. Someone is being exposed. Maybe this Queen of Swords here with the Three of Cups in the reverse is being exposed for having a third party and you're just reevaluating things and um, you're just seeing the situation is a dead end now but here you are Gemini at the bottom of the deck you are manifesting a new beginning you want to get yourself out of this yeah you, ooh. Look at that. Oh, shit. And the Seven of Swords. So we have the Magician, the King of Cups, and the Death card, okay? Some of you guys could have water in your chart. Could be a Scorpio or a Cancer or a Pisces. But with these cards here, this, let, this is letting me know that you are still in your power, okay? And you are going to manifest a brand new beginning with the lessons this experience has taught you. I feel like this is this situation here does suck, but I feel like it's not going to keep you down. You're going to keep your emotions very leveled, and you're just going to roll with the changes, is what I'm saying here. You're just going to roll with the punches. And then the Seven of Swords, there's some lies, manipulation going on. 
some sneakiness. Hey, Gemini. Let's see what this Five of Swords is about. What is this? Or no, Three of Cups. Let's see, why is the Three of Cups in the reverse? the nine of cups in the reverse so someone may have been selfish someone here just could have thought that they were the shit or what have you because look at this guy he looks pretty smug very arrogant like look at me look what i have things like that they're showing up in the reverse though so yeah someone just could have been very like self-centered I'm also here, someone here could have been a drunk. Someone here could have a problem with drinking. And like I said before, someone here was just um, having a third party and just wanted and was just being selfish, okay? Yeah, someone here was juggling with the two of pentacles, not putting other people's um, feelings and input into consideration. Um, let's see. Why is the Queen of Swords in the reverse? We'll take these. We have the Sun in the Chariot. Wow. Okay, so you could have Cancer in your chart, or you are dealing with the Cancer. Um, but either way, either you or someone else has gotten some clarity on this situation, okay? And with this clarity, it's like you have came to some sort of triumph here in regards to this situation. You're feeling on top. You're feeling successful. You're feeling like things are on your side right now, okay? Um, and you see that you really kind of didn't do anything wrong here. So you know that you're okay, you know that you're fine, and you feel successful, you feel like you won this situation, okay, and you're moving on here with the chariot, you're moving on. There could have also been some sort of truth about a cancer that came out. But with the Queen of Swords in the reverse, I'm also getting that you just are not going to be harsh in this situation. I just feel like you're going to move on. You're not going to talk to anybody. You're not going to um, be rude to anybody or just like cut them off. I just feel like you're just leaving in peace. I just feel like you are avoiding any type of discussion, avoiding any type of, yeah, you're just done with it. Okay, Gemini, so that is all I have for you here. Thank you for watching, and take care.